Hey guys, Famous in America channel is back and this time bringing you information about the personalities who left us in the last 4 days. But first, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Shall I Lip, young American fighter and MMA super promise, died at age 21 after a crash between two vehicles on Interstate 94 in Minnesota, USA. Lip was the only fatal victim and the other four people were unharmed. It is speculated that Shalai Lip was not wearing a seatbelt at the time of the accident. She was aboard a 2015 Chevrolet Malibu and, as far as we know, it was driven by her trainer Joseph Trottier, 35, from West Fargo, when it collided with a 2017 Jeep Cherokee on the Red River Bridge at around 11.30 a.m. last Sunday, May 7, according to the Minnesota State Patrol. The accident is still under investigation by local authorities and further details have not been revealed so far. Shalai had just returned to the US after training hard for a month in Thailand, as she would have a great fight on May 20, against none other than Natalie Gage, in one of the main cards of the event called No Mercy 11. Fun and charismatic, Shalai had promoted her participation in the event in one of her last posts on Instagram. I would love it if you guys would come out and support me so close to my hometown. Bring some friends, have a few drinks and enjoy some violence," she joked at the time. It is very sad that we lose such promising young people and unfortunately I have the impression that this has been happening with some frequency, isn't it? Another promising young man who lost his life last Sunday, May 7, Bego Yukiberuwa, an executive and former agent, died aged 27. Yuki Beruwa died of complications from heatstroke while running a half marathon in Providence, Rhode Island, all of us here at the newsroom are shocked by yet another loss. Last fall, Yuki Beruwa was appointed to head film and television development for Sarah Murphy and Ryan Zacharias' newly launched production company Fat City, based at Anonymous Content with an initial contract. His career began in entertainment as an agent for CAA's film literary department. Yuki Beruwa grew up in West Windsor, New Jersey, U.S. Graduated from West Windsor Plainsboro High School South. Later, he attended New York University. Yuki Beruwa is survived by parents Francis and Jumok, brother Minias and sisters Toju, Tetsi, Didi and Misson, along with hundreds of friends. The funeral service will be held next Saturday, May 13, at St. Michael in Manhattan followed by burial in St. A reception for family and friends will follow in a private residence. American blogger Heather B. Armstrong, better known by the pseudonym Dus, due to her inability to quickly spell dude during online conversations with her former colleagues from her former job. In 2001, Heather started her blog and the following year she lost her job the following year, because her co-workers found out that she was writing about them on her blog. After her firing, Heather didn't give up and stuck to her posts, this time focusing on her parenting struggles and eventually cashing in with ads on her blog, this in 2004. Five years later, Heather was a digital celebrity and he had 8.5 million viewers a month and reportedly made over $100,000 annually from banner ads on his Dus blog. Heather Armstrong was featured on Oprah and was named among the top 30 honorees on Forbes magazine's 2009 Most Influential Women in Media list. However, not everything is rosy and in the digital world this is even more evident, and in mid-2010, the number of readers of Dus began to drop sharply due to the influence of social media that would change the entire future from then on. After a messy divorce and severe criticism of herself and her online blog, Armstrong gave up blogging regularly and the battle with depression began. After a successful experimental treatment in 2017, Heather returned with full force to her posts on the internet, and although for a smaller audience, she began to earn a lot as an influencer, although she criticized the practice vehemently. But depression would lead to relapses and on May 9, 2023, she would commit suicide at her home in Salt Lake City, Utah, U.S. She is survived by two children and boyfriend Pete Ashdown with whom she shared her home. Let's stop here guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. Do not forget to comment and also subscribe to our channel. See you soon here on the Famous in America channel.